Hey, what's up? It's KB here and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys the new Photos app for Windows 11. And uh, this Photos app update is not available yet, but some people on the Windows Insider program actually got this update and now it's all over the internet. You can actually get the installation file and you get get this new photos app so in coming few weeks maybe next week we might get this update officially to every windows insiders so yeah uh, actually let me show you how to get it right now so there is a uh, this link i will put link in the description for my website from there you can access this link and just click on download once you download the file, go to downloads. And after that, this is what it looks like. This is the downloaded file. Just double click on it. And actually I already updated it. So in your case, it will say update and uh, just update, update the photos app. And this is the version, okay, latest one. And that's how you basically get the new photos app, just in case if you haven't got the update. Only very few people actually got the update. Even I didn't get it, so I had to do this. And now I have the new Photos app for Windows 11, okay? I'm using the beta, okay? So it should also work on uh, dev beta, okay? So now let's take a look at what's new. Feature-wise, I think it's the same. Uh, they just redesigned uh, the way we operate this photos application the way we access its features so this is the home screen uh, and you can go to the album if you have created any album it will show the album people folder video editor so let's just click on one of these photos and uh, you can see it's different now we have a you know menu at the top what we want to do uh, we want to zoom in Let's go, zoom in. We want to rotate, let's go. <laughs> we want to edit, let's go. So uh, you get the point here. The everything, the feature wise is still the same, but they have redesigned it. The UI is changed. It looks different. So I haven't spotted anything new yet. Uh, maybe there is something new, but uh, it looks the same for me. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's now like uh, designed for Windows 11. Uh, you know, if you uh, compare this side by side with the old Photos application, you know how good it looks compared to that. So, yeah, that's that. That is the basic, you know, all the functions they have. Uh, you can go info. There is all those options all right and there is a video editor i think it is improved it's a lot faster for me it feels faster all right um i made a video actually you can uh, click on this three dot menu and you can click on make a video for me click on it i'm gonna select all these photos that's all i have <laughs> okay create uh testing okay whatever testing <laughs> now it made a video of those photos that i just selected and now i can finish the video and export i can edit the video if i didn't like anything you know all that so you can click on new project video add library from this pc and all that so i actually have many projects one two three uh, this is the old one uh, this is when i was testing what's new so this is a title screen all right and um, you can add other stuff uh, from your pc from my collection let's do that let's add our kakashi senpai all right let's do that and you know i feel like i have used this uh, video editor in the past in Windows 10. I feel like this is a lot faster, I think. Yeah, it's much faster. Uh, yeah, that's the improvement. And uh, feature-wise, as I said, 
it's the same you can see even in like wow i added the effect look at that this is like really fast i did not expect this wow when i was using this in windows 10 uh, way back i even made a video on that too uh, it was really slow but now it feels very fast in windows 11 boom effect come on i wanted to play the kakashi one where is boom yeah <laughs> it has a sound effect too well uh, this video editor is cool if you want to do something <laughs> But I think feature-wise, there is nothing new. They, they just redesigned uh, the Photos application. And there is a huge performance boost in Video Editor, I think. Yeah, I can feel it because uh, I have used it in the past. And, and it feels very smooth. Let's do that. Zoom effect. I like that. <laughs> I don't want to end this video. Come on, let me see all other. Uh, actually, let's remove these. Add something cool here, maybe. Wow. Wish we could export this to other video editor. That would be amazing. But for the basics, uh, it's very cool, I think. There's the earth. Is it earth? Yeah, there is a sound effect too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, balloons and 3D library we have. Like we can download the lots of 3D models like this dinosaur. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Horse. Okay, I, I'm, I'm lost. But uh, the, uh, the purpose of this video was to show you guys how you can get this video editor. Uh, I mean, the photos application, the new one. And uh, kind of wanted to show you guys what's new in it. New UI changes. That's all. And improvements. Performance improvements. That's all. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. I will put link in the description for the photos app file. You can download that and you can upgrade your photos app to this version. This version looks very cool. Works very cool, I guess. So yeah, that is it. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye.